with the eighth pick in the draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Randy Moss. Step into an alternate reality where we ask the question, what if the Cowboys drafted Randy Moss? Cowboys select Moss with the eighth overall pick in the 1998 draft. The big three becomes the big four. Moss revitalizes an aging Dallas dynasty. His breakout game comes in week three against the Giants on Monday Night Football, where he and Deion Sanders put on a show. Going deep for Randy Moss, and he's got it. It's a touchdown. As for the Vikings, they take guard Alan Fanica in the 98 draft before finishing 12 and four as a run first squad. That's when they meet Steve Young and Terrell Owens in the wild card. Throws to the end zone. Owens! Owens! Caught it! He caught it! He caught it! Cowboys finish 14-2, defeating Green Bay and Atlanta in the playoffs. Super Bowl 33 is now an Aikman versus Elway clash, with Moss pushing the Cowboys to the top of the mountain. Aikman rides off into the sunset after his fourth Super Bowl win, while Elway retires with only one Lombardi to his name. Dallas has a down year in 1999. Newly signed quarterback Trent Green is injured in the preseason and lost for the year. Now we've got Trent Green down. We've got Trent Green down in the middle of the field. Backup Jason Garrett struggles, failing to get Dallas out of tough spots like Aikman could. Moss still has over 1,300 yards and 10 scores, but it's not enough as the Cowboys succumb to a string of close losses, finishing 6-10. Michael Irvin retires after the season, the Cowboys fire Chan Gailey and hire Jets defensive coordinator Bill Belichick, who ditches the Jets head coaching job after Jerry Jones makes him an offer he can't refuse. I've decided to resign as the head coach of the New York Jets. New England ends up hiring Jaguars defensive coordinator Dom Capers. Bill Belichick, looking to bolster an aging defense, finds his team one pick ahead of the Chicago Bears in the draft. And with that pick, Dallas Cowboys select Brian Erlacher, linebacker, New Mexico. And with Garrett struggling the previous season, Belichick looks to the late rounds for a quarterback of the future. A lot of people don't believe in you. 198 other picks. And I always thought, you know what, once I get my shot, I'm going to be ready. A healthy Trent Green returns as the starter in 2000. Moss and Emmett put up big seasons. Dallas goes from 6-10 to 9-7, finishing a game out of the playoffs. The Vikings also miss the postseason without the help of Moss. The good news is, they avoid this. He's got a touchdown! The Giants have broken the Minnesota Vikings' will. That leaves New Orleans with a trip to the Meadowlands. After all, this never happened. And he quick to Randy Moss, and he's going to get by almost everybody. In fact, he gets by everybody and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. Fast forward a couple of weeks, and it's still Ray Lewis leading the Ravens to its first Super Bowl. In 2001, the Patriots search for Bledsoe's backup, signing another number 12. Those are the kind of plays that a quarterback has to make. The Cowboys no longer use their 2000 and 2001 first round picks to trade for Joey Galloway. With a 20th pick in the first round, they take a sidekick for Moss and a replacement for Irvin. The Cowboys have chosen wide receiver okay. from Miami, Reggie Wayne. So the Colts, also looking to bolster their pass attacks, take the draft's next best receiver, Chad Johnson. Trent Green goes down again, this time against the vaunted Bucks defense. In comes second year unknown Tom Brady. With weapons galore, he leads Dallas to an 11-5 record and a wild card spot as Moss carries the load on offense. Brady going deep for Moss at the goal line. Oh, did he catch that touchdown? Stop it. Meanwhile, the opportunistic 0-1 Bears don't get close to a 13-3 record without Erlacher and miss the playoffs. And New England's defense remains strong with capers, but they can't get anywhere with Farad after Drew Bledsoe's Week 2 injury. Needs 10 yards. He hit. Oh my! Without New England in the playoffs, Raiders fans don't have to endure one of the most controversial plays in NFL history. Blitz. Lost the football. It's on the ground. After reviewing the play, the quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an incomplete 
<laughs> Instead, Oakland cruises past the Jets in the divisional round that upsets Pittsburgh to advance to the Super Bowl. Over in the NFC, Dallas stuns the greatest show on turf with the Brady-Belichick combination. But in the NFC Championship game, the Eagles defense smothers Brady and Emmett en route to a Super Bowl. Oakland defeats Philadelphia in the rematch of Super Bowl 15, coincidentally, in the same stadium. John Gruden gets his ring, and he never gets traded to Tampa. Tony Dungy's fired by the underachieving Bucks before landing with the Colts. And while Tampa doesn't land Gruden, they settle for a hard-nosed, two-time Super Bowl winning leader. What the f are you doing staying 10 yards in the backfield? Get up on the line! Jerry Jones and Bill Belichick get aggressive trying to invigorate an aging secondary. They trade up for a Miami ball hawk. Dallas Cowboys select Edward Reed, safety from the University of Miami. Now with Reed, Erlacher, Darren Woodson, Leroy Glover, and Jeremiah Trotter, Dallas boasts the number one defense in the league. And on offense, pass, pass, and a little more pass. Guess who? Moss. Another catch, another touchdown. Reggie Wayne into the end zone. Touchdown. Emmett Smith's numbers fall off as number 22 finishes his final season with less than 1,000 rushing yards. But in the battle for the divisional title against the Eagles in week 16, Smith finally gets his record. Emmett Smith has just become the NFL's all-time leading rusher. The Cowboys finish 14-2. Parcells' box can't handle the superhuman effort of Michael Vick in the wild card. Vick still has it. Throws it deep. Got Crumpler. Got him on the touchdown to Crumpler. And this epic 49ers comeback. Garcia fires. It happens against Andy Reid's Eagles. Gruden's Raiders demolish all opposition through the playoffs, as do Belichick's Cowboys. Thus, a Randy Moss-Charles Woodson mega matchup headlines Super Bowl 37. Rich Gannon, Tim Brown, and Jerry Rice have no answers for Erlacher and Reid, as each come away with pick sixes before being named co-MVPs. Emmett Smith and Darren Woodson each get their fifth ring and announce their retirement after the season. Belichick continues to bolster his defense, taking Charles Tillman with the 32nd pick in the 2003 NFL Draft. Dallas continues to roll in 03, going 15-1 as Brady ties Dan Marino's record of 48 touchdown passes. Moss and Wayne each make the Pro Bowl, combining for more than 3,000 receiving yards. Over in the AFC, Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison, and Chad Johnson aren't far behind Dallas's offensive production. Manning looks, pumps, he looks, oh. he's got Marvin open, he throws, touchdown Marvin! Dungy's Colts steamroll through the playoffs, avoiding a snowy Gillette Stadium. Brady outduels Brett Favre in the NFC Divisional Round, then guts through a win over the stingy Panthers defense in the NFC Championship game before setting up a dream matchup. Brady versus Manning in Super Bowl 38. In a battle of once-in-a-lifetime offenses, it's Belichick's defense that proves to be the deciding factor as Dallas goes back-to-back. -back. Hitting the Cowboys' Super Bowl celebration is Tony Romo, who quietly goes undrafted before getting picked up by Parcells' box. More on him later. In 2004, Brady and Manning continue their historic seasons chasing record after record. Peyton breaks the single-season touchdown mark in Week 16. And Manning, he's got it! Manning's got the record! Peyton Manning has captured a piece of NFL history! Only to have Brady one-up number 18 the following week. Brady with time, going back again to Moss. Touchdown! Brady and Moss hook up on a record catch. Belichick's undefeated regular season comes three years earlier as the Cowboys cruise to the Super Bowl where they meet the Steelers. And this time, it's another QB from the class of 04 that plays spoiler to the dream team. The game is over. The Pittsburgh Steelers did it the hard way. A tumultuous offseason following Dallas's shocking defeat sees Belichick trade Moss to the Packers for first and second round draft picks in this year's draft 
who the Cowboys turned into guard Logan Mankins and wide receiver Vincent Jackson. And now it's Moss catching passes from another legend. And without their first round pick, Green Bay has no chance to take Aaron Rodgers. What the hell were y'all worried about? So Washington, instead of taking Jason Campbell, lands the draft's biggest steal. The Washington Redskins select Aaron Rodgers, quarterback in California. The Cowboys take a step back from their undefeated campaign, going 12 and four in 2005, while locking up home field advantage. Moss, Favre, and the Packers sneak into the playoffs on a game-winning touchdown in Week 17. Favre lobbing it into the end zone for a touchdown. The Packers have their first lead of the game. The Pack rides that momentum through the wild card and into Dallas in the divisional round, where Moss gets revenge on Belichick. Green Bay upsets the Cowboys as Brady and company are sent home packing. Green Bay, though, runs into league MVP Sean Alexander and the Seahawks in the NFC Championship game. Seattle and Pittsburgh meet in Detroit for Super Bowl 40, with the Steelers going back to back. A couple of months later, Reggie Wayne hits free agency. And after the Moss experience, Dallas opts not to sign Terrell Owens, another high maintenance receiver. Some would say this is starting to become a circus. I love the fans. Instead, it's the Bengals who sign T.O., aiming to remove the Steelers from atop the division. Miami doesn't even sniff Dante Culpepper in free agency and goes all in on Drew Brees. Dolphins coach Nick Saban okays the deal and signs Reggie Wayne as his number one receiver. The trio of Brees, Wayne, and Wes Welker puts Miami in the AFC East driver's seat. And without Brees, New Orleans takes Vince Young with the number two pick in the 06 draft. Reggie Bush slides to Tennessee at number three, pairing him with ex-USC teammate Lendale White. In 2006, LT's Chargers are the class of the NFL. Cincinnati dethrones Pittsburgh in the AFC North. Saban's Dolphins go 12-4. In the NFC, Moss and the Pack finish 13-3, Dallas goes 11-5, while Parcells and Romo squeeze Tampa Bay into the playoffs as the number six seed, of course, before Tony Romo botches the snap against Seattle. Romo holds, 19-yard field goal attempt. Oh, it is fumbled by Romo, and then Romo's gonna run to the end zone, and he's gonna get tackled by Jordan Babino. Amazing! Favre gets the best of Brady in the NFC Championship game, while Tomlinson gashes, breezes, Dolphins, and Dungy's Colts en route to Super Bowl 41. Hit for Tomlinson, cuts it back inside, 10 to five, touchdown! At long last, Marty gets his ring, while Phillip Rivers becomes the second quarterback from the class of 04 to win a Lombardi. The 2007 season sees Adrian Peterson in a Redskins uniform after Washington drafted him to pair with Rodgers. The duo sends Washington into the postseason, where Rodgers is met by Erlacher, Reed, and Tillman in the divisional round. The Giants upset Green Bay, then go into Dallas and steal one in the NFC Championship game. End zone intercepted by the Giants, and the Giant bench goes wild. All of this leads us to the Manning Bowl. Peyton versus Eli in Super Bowl 42. Little brother gets the best of big brother thanks to the dominant New York pass rush. And that is it, the New York Giants with the most improbable win in recent memory. This is it, that get any better than this. Eli, Ben, and Phillip all have rings by 07. In 2008, Dallas finally finds a premier running back in Chris Johnson near the end of round one. The Dallas Cowboys select Chris Johnson. Green Bay drafts Joe Flacco after Favre retires. Little does Flacco know, Favre will be back by the time training camp starts. That leaves Baltimore reaching for Michigan quarterback Chad Henney. Fast forward to week one. How does Dallas rebound from another surprising playoff exit? Tom Brady took a tremendous hit as he released that ball right on his left leg. A torn ACL sidelines Brady for all of 2008, leaving 40-year-old backup Brad Johnson to man the offense. His job? 
Feed Johnson, who becomes CJ2K a year earlier. Johnson with a big burst in his second game. And he races right back with the defenders, and he will go the distance for a touchdown. Dallas barely sneaks into the playoffs before getting blown out by Green Bay in the wild card. Then Favre and Moss meet their match against another veteran quarterback with a supreme receiver. Throwing over the middle, Fitzgerald wide open to the 20, loose to the 10, Fitz is in! Fitzgerald's Cardinals visit the defending champs in the NFC Championship game. And on a windy Meadowlands afternoon, Warner can't get the job done as the G-Men punch their ticket to another Super Bowl, this time against Pittsburgh. Enter Santonio Holmes. Ben, he's back, he pumps. He scrambles around, throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown! Santonio Holmes! I don't know how he did it! What a finish to an unbelievable Super Bowl! The 09 season would be Barb's last. No, seriously. At 40 years old, he becomes the oldest player to win MVP, splitting the award with Peyton Manning. A healthy Brady returns to take the Cowboys to the playoffs as a two seed. And Rodgers and Peterson lead a prolific Redskins attack as Washington earns a wildcard spot. But it's Romo who delivers the best performance of 2009, throwing a walk-off overtime touchdown in Dallas, sending the Bucs to the NFC Championship. Time for Romo. Throws with Murray. Touchdown! The Bars Packers get the best of Parcells' squad securing a berth in Super Bowl 44. His opponent? None other than co-MVP Peyton Manning, who retires number four for good and finally gets his ring. The Colts are world champions! World champions for the first time since 1971! With Moss now 33, Green Bay takes a chance on Des Bryant in the 2010 NFL Draft. The Packers sneak into the playoffs with Joe Flacco leading the charge. By this time, Aaron Rodgers and Adrian Peterson are both in their primes, leading the Skins to the NFC East title. Roethlisberger, Breeze, and Manning battle for AFC supremacy, with Breeze coming out on top. Flacco's red-hot playoff stretch comes two years earlier as he tears through opponents with Moss and Bryant. Packers and Dolphins in Super Bowl 45. Who catches the winning touchdown? You got it. Another shot in the end zone. Double cover, but Randy Moss comes down with it. Unbelievable. Moss retires after the game with another Lombardi Trophy in his hands. So here's what we can take away from this alternate reality. Moss never plays for the Vikings. Dallas wins Super Bowls in 98, 02, and 03. John Elway retires with only one ring. Troy Aikman retires with four. Emmitt Smith with five. Bill Belichick becomes Cowboys coach and drafts Tom Brady, Brian Urlacher, Reggie Wayne, Ed Reed, and Charles Tillman. After playing with three legendary quarterbacks, Moss breaks every receiving record held by Jerry Rice. Chad Johnson is drafted by the Colts. No tuck rule game. John Gruden never goes to Tampa, but Bill Parcells does. And he brings Tony Romo with him. LT and Phillip Rivers win a Super Bowl. The Saints don't because Drew Brees signs in Miami and Nick Saban never goes to Alabama. Big Ben leads Pittsburgh to three titles. T.O. never signs with Dallas. Chris Johnson rushes for 2K, but in a Cowboys jersey. Rodgers and Peterson are teammates in Washington. Favre never plays for the Vikings. I think I always will be a Packer. Flacco and Dez are drafted by Green Bay. The Patriots come out of this with no Super Bowls. And oh yeah, we get Manning, Brady, Manning, Favre, and Manning, Manning Super Bowls. All of that because the Cowboys drafted Randy Moss.